Good morning, everybody, and welcome. We're live on WBEN. We're live on the Odyssey app and on Zoom with a special presentation to announce the 2021 recipients of the Buffalo Niagara Business Ethics Awards. For many years, I've enjoyed attending the BNBEA annual award celebration because it is a one-of-a-kind event that honors businesses that demonstrate a firm commitment to ethical business practices in everyday operations, management philosophies, and in their responses to crises and challenges. And joining me this morning for the award presentation is our very good friend and colleague from WGRZ Channel 2 News, Scott Levin. Scott, it's great to have you with us. Susan, it is great to be here with you to co-host this special presentation this morning. Now, of course, we usually get to do this at the annual luncheon, but once again, WBEN has stepped up into this unique way to present the 2021 BNBEA Awards via this morning's broadcast. So without further ado, the pandemic has greatly impacted all of us at work and at home for several years, and perhaps most of all, the impact has been most difficult for our business community. For 15 years, the Buffalo Niagara Business Ethics Association has celebrated business ethics by highlighting ethical business practices in our region with the presentation of the BNBEA awards to small, mid-sized and large companies. Now these companies really make a difference in our community, not just for what they do, but how they choose to do business the right way. Welcome to the 15th annual Buffalo Niagara Business Ethics Award announcement. We recognize each of BNBEA's platinum partners for their longstanding support and commitment to ethical business practices in our region. Thank you to BSP CPAs and consultants, KeyBank, Lolly Insurance, and Niagara University. The Buffalo Niagara Business Ethics Association is the only nonprofit organization in Western New York focused on influencing business ethics. And at this time, we'd like to introduce Fred Hollander, president of the Buffalo Niagara Business Ethics Association, to share some thoughts. Good morning, Susan and Scott, and all who are joining us on air, streaming, or on Zoom. We're excited to celebrate business ethics and present the 15th annual Buffalo Niagara Business Ethics Awards. We thank our media partners, WBEN Radio 930, WGRZ Channel 2, and Business First. Tim Wenger, Susan Rose, and Scott Levin have been part of the BNBEA team for many years. Thank you for hosting this morning's broadcast. Business ethics are alive and well in our community. We are living in extraordinary times, so why do business ethics matter now more than ever? Consider these thoughts from our past award recipients. Adversity reveals character. It's easy to do the right thing when all is well. It's much harder to stay true to your values in difficult times. In today's challenging times, it has never been more important to hold strong to your ethics, regardless of the situation. Doing the right thing is not a conditional statement. It is at the core of ethical companies. Now more than ever, we need businesses of all sizes to embrace a high ethical culture beyond their organization by setting exemplary examples for the good of our community. The BNBEA award reminds us that there is never a time for shortcuts. We have a responsibility to future generations to recognize ethical practices in action, to understand how an ethical society acts and reacts, to have hope for the future. BNBEA celebrates those who lead in doing things the right way. We exist to promote good businesses and individuals. Our mission has never been more important than it is today. Ethical businesses become successful businesses. And it is true that nice guys can and do finish first. Susan, please introduce our finalists. All right, glad to. Thank you, Fred. We now present the 2021 BNBEA finalists in each of their corresponding categories, small, mid-sized, and large companies. Because our time is short, we invite you to visit buffalobusinessethics.org or bnbea.org to view a complete presentation of the descriptions and photos of this year's finalists produced by WGRZ Channel 2. Each of these companies participated in a detailed application process, and the applications were then vetted by honors students 
at Niagara University who selected this year's finalists. In the small business category of five to 25 employees, the 2021 BNBEA finalists are Brian Parisi Copier Systems, Inc., locally owned and operated for over 30 years. Brian Parisi Copier Systems provides business document management and small business office printing solutions. Buffalo Neuromusculoskeletal Medicine, founded in 2018, the practice provides increased accessibility and awareness for osteopathic medicine by offering neuromusculoskeletal care. And ServePro of the South Towns, a cleanup and restoration company for the past 26 years, the company specializes in fire and water damages, especially a specialty cleaning and more. We congratulate the finalists in the small business category for the 2021 Buffalo Niagara Business Ethics Awards. Thank you, Susan. Now for the mid-size business category of 26 to 100 employees. The 2021 BNBEA finalists are Mike Basil Toyota, an automotive dealership in Lockport since 2001. Mike Basil Toyota offers vehicle sales, parts, and service and is committed to treating customers as family. And Niagara Metals LLC. Niagara Metals is a full service scrap metal recycling company and operating five facilities, servicing industries and individuals in Western New York and Southern Ontario. Congratulations to the finalists in the mid-size category of the 2021 Buffalo Niagara Business Ethics Award. Susan? In the large business category of over 100 employees, the 2021 BNBEA finalists are Buffalo Rehab Group with a mission revolving around patients first. BRG focuses on restoring and elevating the independence of its community members. Erie County Medical Center Corporation, proud of its role throughout the city and region's history, the hospital continues to build on its story that began 103 years ago. And Crayer Family Farms, founded in 1924, the company continues to be owned by the Crayer family, producing and marketing high quality agricultural products. Congratulations to the finalists in the large business category of the 2021 Buffalo Niagara Business Ethics Award. And our congratulations to all the 2021 Buffalo Niagara Business Ethics Award finalists. And now, the announcement of the 2021 recipients. This year's BNBEA recipients were ultimately selected for this year's Business Ethics Award by a judging committee of Western New York business leaders. Fred, I see virtually you have sealed envelopes in hand and the Crystal Awards on display in front of you to present to this year's recipients. And can I hear a drum roll? So Susan, would you like to begin? Absolutely, Scott, thank you. The 2021 recipient in the small business category of the Buffalo Niagara Business Ethics Award is the small category Crystal Award goes to Serve Pro of the South Towns. Congratulations. Congratulations. The 2021 recipient in the mid size business category of the Buffalo Niagara Business Ethics Award is. Uh, Niagara Metals. Congratulations. All right, the 2021 recipient in the large business category of the Buffalo Niagara Business Ethics Award is? The large business category Crystal Award goes to Erie County Medical Center Corporation. Congratulations to our 2021 BNBEA finalists and recipients. The importance of ethics in business is something to keep in mind, not just now, but year round. When you see or hear business ethics in action, think BNBEA and the great work that it does celebrating business ethics. We thank you all for joining us and invite you to visit buffalobusinessethics.org or bnbea.org to view this entire program and to learn how to nominate a company and more. Thank you, everyone. Now we invite all of our uh, Crystal Award recipients to stay on the Zoom program and address all of our attendees. So everyone is welcome 
to stay with us and uh, celebrate business ethics. And of course, I will make personal visits to each of your of the Crystal Award recipients to hand you the Crystal Awards and meet your team. So thank you. And we thank all of our finalists for all of the hard work that goes into preparing this application. This is quite a robust, uh, quite a robust exercise. All right, so uh, Surpro, um, please unmute and say hello to Dan Bauer. Everybody, how's it going? Congratulations. Thank you very much. First thing I would say is, Fred, I can always come down to your office and pick it up because there's like four dogs here. They will swarm you at the door. I'm just going to give you fair warning right now. Um, but this was a this is a big deal for us. I, I kind of spoke to it in our application, and I think everybody would probably agree that doing something like this makes you examine kind of who you are a lot deeper than I think you think you're going to get into it when you start. Um, and one thing that we really realized and is really important to us is that we are a family business and the family part comes before business. Um, and when you're working with your mom or your dad or your son or your daughter or your wife, in my case, and you have to go home every single day and look them in the eye and not just say like, I think I did a good job, but I think I was a good person today. Uh, that really changes things. So uh, I value that a lot more than I, I realized I did in writing this application made me realize that and this is a real honor to be to be recognized with all these wonderful folks so thank you very much um thank you very much we're, we're extremely honored and happy to be uh the recipient this year uh congratulations to, to everyone else the other winners and all the other finalists and really anyone that even went through this process it's um a vigorous process as everyone knows but a really rewarding experience you know you get the whole team involved and you realize maybe all the little things you do day in and day out that you don't think about until you, you take time and write them down. And, you know, it was really humbling to see that and, and get such good feedback from the team. Um, you know, we really appreciate our, our mentor, Jim Bedard. He was great through the process and helped us fine tune our application this year. So we're, we're, we're very excited to be at the top and you know, it's been a challenging year for a lot of businesses, but sticking to our, to our guns and our core values has, has enabled us to, remain successful and continue to invest in the employees and we're excited for a, a 2022 strong year as well so thank you to everyone at dnba i know it's been a challenging year and we're, we're excited to be you know forever part of the organization uh, congratulations to all the other uh, finalists and uh, winners um first of all on behalf of the 4,000 caregivers uh, at ecmc you have had a heck of a year uh, thank you very much it, it just means a tremendous amount to us, especially uh, with what the organization has been through. There's probably nothing more important uh, to be known for than to be an ethical organization, uh, especially when you're a public organization. So whether uh, it's treating the most vulnerable in our community uh, or it's uh, being transparent, again, as a public organization, uh, ethics is, is core uh, to ECMC. So I just wanna thank you and the committee and uh, thank everybody for um, in Western New York for continuing to support uh, our institution, and um, we are proud to be part of uh, the response to the COVID uh, pandemic, whether that be uh, making sure the most vulnerable in our community get vaccinated and tested, uh, or treating, obviously, uh, individuals. Um, it was our honor to be able to do so. So again, thank you, uh, Fred, to you and the committee, uh, and uh, we really, uh, this means a lot to us, and we really appreciate it.